Hey everybody, I sure hope you enjoyed our reading of Harriet, You'll Drive Me Wild today. Um, and we have a fun craft to go along with our story today. We're going to make a little um, paint resistant heart shaped painting to show one another how much we love each other, even when we drive each other wild. Um, we have for this project needed um, either white computer paper or construction paper. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need the paint colors of your choice. On my sample, we did pink and white and red, but you can use any color of the rainbow that you like. Um, you're going to need cotton balls. You're going to need some um, wax paper, um, some tape, and a Sharpie marker so that you can draw out your picture. When you have all these items assembled, come on back and we'll show you how to make your, your paint resist heart painting. Okay, so the first thing you need to get is your wax paper. And you want to pull out a couple inches worth, I would say about six, five, six inches worth of wax paper and tear that off from your roll. And then you want to fold your wax paper in half. So a heart shape is what we call symmetrical, which means it is the same on each side of the center line. So back to your wax paper here, we want to draw a heart shape on your fold. Start at the top, come down around like um, a half circle here and bring it all the way to the point at the bottom. Then take your scissors and you can cut out your heart shape. If you want to make several little hearts or one big heart, it doesn't matter. You can make whichever design you like. Um, I have a previously cut out heart and it is a different size and shape than this one. It's okay how you make your hearts just as long as you have a couple different shapes. And the next step you want to do now is to take your tape and you're going to fold the tape up on itself unless you happen to own double sided tape which also would be helpful in this project. But if you don't you can just roll the tape up on itself and you want to stick it onto your wax paper heart. And you're going to want to put it, um, put a couple sheets on each one. Um, you want to have it on the top especially and on the bottom. But I also recommend that you put it on the sides. And one more in the middle because you don't want your heart to be moving around on your paper when it's all slippery and goopy with paint. Because then you won't get a nice clear edge for your drawing. So now you want to bring this over to your white construction paper and you can either do it horizontal or vertical however you want to make your picture and maybe if you're doing a couple different hearts you want to do it vertical so that you have several hearts in your picture um, staying upright and then lay your wax paper down nice and tight with your tape. If you need to pick it up and relay it you can. It should peel off pretty easily. And this one's a little bit wrinkled too. And just lay it flat so that you have a nice heart on your paper. Pretty easy. Now you need to pick your colors out. I think I'm going to do mine in different colors than I did the first one. I think we're going to go with a blue, yellow, and green color. And this is where the fun part comes. You just want to, to pour your green paint onto the wax paper like that. Then take your cotton balls and you can either sponge paint around or you can smear around. Now, my table has a nice glossy finish to it so it doesn't matter if I get paint on it. I can use Windex and easily wipe it off. But if you don't have that feature on your table, I strongly recommend that you put down wax, um, wax paper or newspaper or some kind of paper to protect your tabletop or your working surface. Um, but like I said on mine, I do all my crafting on this table because it has a nice surface that I can clean up easily when I'm done. And you're just gonna take your paint and you're going to put it on like so. You always wanna push out from the center of your heart. If you're pushing back towards it, you're gonna come up under that edge and you won't have a nice crisp edging to it. If your kids prefer sponge painting, you can do that too. 
We'll put yellow in my middle here and we'll use some sponge painting. See, I got paint all over my fingers, so it's gonna be a messy project. And we could do sponge painting. You could drop a couple drops here, just a couple drops here, and then take a cotton ball and just sponge paint. You do some dabbing like this. And again, you wanna get it off the, the wax paper heart so that it really leaves a nice sharp edge to your um, corners here. And you can do the, the dabbing. If you have sponges at home that you don't mind cutting up, sponges work just as well as um, cotton balls. Um, whatever you have at home is handy. And then for my top layer, I'm going to put my blue down and we're gonna sponge that again. And we're gonna put some up here. And again, we're just gonna wanna be smearing away on this layer just for something different. And you can make it as wild as you want. Oops, makes it a nice square on my table. So there's all kinds of different ways to do this. There is not a right or a wrong way to do it. Let your child be as creative as they like. And when you're done, when you've got it exactly like you like it, um, I recommend actually waiting until it's completely dry. But you can take your wax paper and very carefully peel it off the page. And there you have your heart shape. The tape, as you can see, does peel off easily, but if you want to wait till your drawing is completely dry, that's a little bit easier. That way you don't worry about smudging the ink while you're peeling the tape off. Then when it's all completely dry, you can hang it on the fridge at the place of honor or up on your wall. You can write a love message on the inside to someone you care about. You could even make a bunch of these and send them to people that you know and care about that are in nursing homes or in hospitals right now. It's a great way to share our love with those around us. You could even make one for your neighbor. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this craft today. Um, before we close, I also want to share with you quickly that we have some other books that I recommend for dealing with um, feelings during this time. We have Bear Feels Scared by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. This is a book that talks about how Bear is afraid and how his friends are there to comfort him. This is a great book um, for helping children deal with feelings when they're afraid. There are some other excellent books like The Way I Feel, which is written and illustrated by Jan and Kane. And this book helps children explore their emotions and how they um, deal with feelings like, oh, my book is ripping, look at that. Feelings like frustration and shyness and even boredom, which is an excellent book for some of our kids that have been stuck at home for a few days. I also recommend Dr. Seuss's book, My Many Color Days. This is a, a great book that talks about our feelings also based on colored and shapes. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days and talks about how kids' moods can change and how they feel as they go. If you have children that really can be naughty like Harriet, then this is another excellent book, I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont. We're not gonna talk about the fact that ain't's not a word, but this is a really fun book about a child who is notorious for painting. And by the end of the book, everything is painted. And that's a really cute story. And then one of my favorite books on loving relationships between your parent and your child is a book called Love by Matt De La Pena and illustrated by Lauren Long. And this is another excellent book on family relationships and how we can love those in our family and in our community. So you can check these books out um, when our library reopens again here, hopefully very soon, and we look forward to seeing you again then. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.